Why don't you trust yourself anymore? Why don't you trust yourself? Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the money minister. I support action-oriented spiritual people to leave behind the pain and limiting beliefs of the past to rise victorious in their true design life. Your true design is free, fulfilled, financially abundant, love drenched. That is your true design if you will claim it. You can only claim it if you trust yourself. You are probably stuck in some area of your life in, an, in, in a situation that you do not love. Maybe it's the job that you don't like. Just like when I was a pharmacist, I used to wake up every single morning thinking to myself, I can't believe I have to do this again, but I'm a responsible adult. I have to do it. So I should just go and do it. And that was that. I do all the things that I really wanted to do, maybe at the weekend, maybe, except as my debt increased, my weekends and my spare time reduced, <laughs> ultimately. Um, and, and so then suddenly all of your life becomes more about doing things that you really don't want to do and telling yourself that you have no choice but to get on and do them, okay? Inside of me, I knew I was called to something different, but I didn't trust myself enough and I didn't trust the divine enough that to believe that I could actually make a living doing what I do now and make a living out of. <laughs> it took me a while to finally surrender to my own life's purpose. Just like you, there's that little niggle inside of you. It might be the job. It might be the business that you're in that really you don't want to be in anymore. It might be the relationship. It might be the, the it's, it could be any area of your life where you are not listening to yourself. The truth is, if you're not listening to yourself in one area of your life, chances are you're not listening to yourself in any area of your life, okay? How you do one thing is how you do everything. Because you've, you've been programmed, just like I was, to listen to everybody else's opinion. I gave more credence to my parents, to my teachers, to, my, to anybody else, because uh, they, they obviously knew more than I did, and they also knew what was, what was best for me even more than I did even more than the divine nudge inside of me did. No, it didn't. No, they didn't. No, they don't know more than you do what is best for you. But do you trust yourself enough to follow through on those intuitive nudges? Or are you going to continue to allow your old programming to get in the way of you living to the fullness of your true potential? Because the only way you are going to experience that true design life is if you start trusting yourself. If you start really noticing I don't feel good doing this thing and it's okay for me to actually look for something that I do feel good doing and that actually I can trust that I can make it work can you do that can you can you trust yourself that you will make it work that you and the divine can make it work so you don't have to stay stuck in a life you do not want I understand your programming. We've all been programmed that way. Don't listen to yourself. You might even come from religion, which is telling you that your, um, that your, your heart is deceitful above all things. So don't trust yourself. Listen to your spiritual teacher. Listen to this other. It was all right when you were a child. It's no longer okay. It's now time to start listening to yourself. Now, for some of y'all, you, you can't even hear yourself anymore. You've, you've silenced that inner voice so much that you just can't even hear it anymore. Start taking the time to pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to your feelings. Journal out. Question yourself. Become more self-aware. You can't keep going through life just allowing yourself to be pushed here, there, and everywhere, basically, and then wonder why your life doesn't feel as good as you would like it to. It's because you're not taking authority over it. Yes, the divine loves you whatever you choose to do. Yes, I understand you're a spiritual person, but come on, if you're going to live life to the fullness of your potential, it will come from inside of you. But you have to learn to trust you again. And listen, this is the type of stuff that I help my clients with, becoming more self-aware, helping you get the life you actually want and stop settling for one that you really don't want. You are meant for more and you know it. You are meant for more and you know it. And yet, you're not at that more. And you know that too. So it's not enough to just slap a smile on your face and just keep walking through life pretending that everything is okay. It's not. I used to do that so I understand what it's like to be there. But now it's time to actually start listening. Listening to those little niggles, those little promptings within you. 
silence the noise, practice these things so that you can hear the divine within you and start following the simple guidance to get the life that you desire. You are meant for more. And you are probably a way shower and a bringer of the news. So some of the things that you will hear, it may scare you because it may seem so unlike what you've seen anybody around you doing. And so then the temptation is to think, no, 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 I can't do that. Or they'll go and ask people for their opinions. Where people who obviously have are invested in you staying stuck in the same position. Wake up. You are meant for more. But you don't get the more until you claim it. So come into evolution. Let me support you in paying attention to you, learning how to go deeper with the divine, listen to those intuitive nudges, and then start acting on them to manifest all the resources you need to live in your true design life. How many times can I say this? You're meant for more, but you only get the more if you claim it. I can help you. Come into evolution. It's rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash evolution. Come on in. I'm looking forward to doing life with you and supporting you to live to the fullness of your potential, to leave behind the pain, the limiting beliefs of the past, to rise victorious in your true design. Come on. It's time to evolve. Come into evolution. Share this video with someone else, okay? Much amazing love. Bye.